So, this is the same setup, uh, except for I changed out the, the neodymium small ribbon for the big fucking large one. <sighs> and uh, I'll show you again during the music. I'm gonna play the, the exact same three songs. And it's night and day difference. The small one is just a major fill. I cannot, well, it's just the way it is. It's not working. Uh, I think going big is better. Just with the planners, it's also for the ribbons. Uh, of course, it's not a point source anymore, so you have to be at the right height or it will, yeah, well, you lose your top end and you get some wiggles and such. So, but I could imagine if you make this thing twice as big, large, long, I mean, long, maybe triple, just for fun and giggles. I think you can do, do uh, really cool stuff. Well, anyhow, I'll show you the measurements and the difference between the, the, the return path ribbon. So this one, I'll show you the difference between this one. Yes, it's smaller, definitely. But also in the measurements, you can see the difference between the width here is larger, of course, than here. And you will see this in the measurements. The wiggle for the smaller one is higher up in frequency than this here. And I'm not sure why my ribbon is like moving a little bit sideways. Could be anything. It's just the way it sits right now. So it doesn't look good because there is no supports in the middle. But it did measure okay. So it's not rubbing. It's just sitting a little bit crooked. And that's fine with me. I mean, it does need supports. And uh, well, if you're gonna add supports, then it would be the best to do it at these folds where it's like folded over. So yeah. But uh, yeah. Let's play music and I'll show you the measurements during the music. I think this one is much more balanced and also it goes way, way lower. I use uh, very simple filters, 12 to be proctav, which is rather neat. And on the woofer it's, it's uh, Linkwitz Riley and the reason is because it, it falls off earlier and it's like smoother. And in this way I'll do the filtering like the crossover as well as uh, compensate a little bit for the baffle step. So I don't have a separate baffle step filter in there right now, which I had for the small one. At the small one I use 24 dB per octave filters, which is really expensive, annoying and not cool to use. Anyway, so this is cheaper, it crosses lower, the, the ribbon does more of the work. It has only benefits to me, to be honest. But Proof is in the potting, so let's uh, play the same songs. And uh, please do, uh, just put in the notes or uh, comments what you think. Uh, which one sounds better to you. I mean, this is a weird setup. I mean, the, the tweeter is, I don't know, <laughs> five times as, as long as that the woofer is in, uh, in, in size. So it is a weird setup, of course. Oh, and I um, changed the camera to, oh, is that, it doesn't look like, wait a second, huh. okay, so hopefully it doesn't like, what it did it was like trying to focus non-stop, which created some blurry shit all over the place, so I hope the camera is doing a better job right now. If I focus it once and lock it, who knows? I mean, the, this camera is new for me and I was not very impressed by some of the images and I was very impressed by some other of the images. So it is kind of weird. I mean, it should like outperform my phone, that's for sure. Uh, so celebrate, dark, dark, dark. Then winter coat, then New York song. Not sure about the volume yet, but... Tell me what you celebrate It isn't hard to do Do you love me? 
Do you love that paint? The balance? Exposing the brick They're crumbling a bit Do you love the beers? Fly over our heads Racing oh, to the woods go. Make honey so sweet
the same song well it's not the same song but uh, it's the same song as I used in the other one to have some sort of reference uh, I could play something else just for fun and giggles just a tiny bit I'm not gonna play it completely not sure yet about the balance of the thing itself I mean the tweeter you know it, it is rather flat now and uh, so it will at least on this recorder will be a little bit on the high on the top end because the low end is not picked up I, yeah I mentioned that in the previous video about the binaural I ordered some binaural um, mics that are actually used for and the word actually again uh, is <laughs> they're used for uh, the GoPro and everything well they use some weird USB connection but I'm pretty sure that the mics themselves are just plug-in power. So it's like six volt or something, or three volt, three and a half. Uh, so I'm gonna, I ordered them because they're 10 euros and the other one with the plug-in power and uh, monitoring, which I don't need, are like 110. So I don't know, I can spend 10 euros and see what it does see what it does I mean I first have to like butcher them I have to try to solder a mini jack to them and I'm gonna use the the layout for a plug-on plug-in powered mic used in many cameras uh, yeah well it has a, a small bias voltage for the electric microphones that are in there and I'm pretty sure the GoPro does the same but it uses some weird stupid connector so it, it cannot be used for anything else it's like this pro yeah, it's a bit like apple <laughs> so what i'm gonna do because they're only 10 euros or 12 i don't know I'm just gonna cut off the usb and uh, figure out which one which lead is what and uh, make it plug-in powered hopefully but who knows and i'm just gonna make some recordings with it instead of the xy version because it's it's not the well it is good for a lot of things maybe not for this thing downside of using binaural or omnis in general is of course you get more of the room noise so this is like focusing more forward it has like a really big ratio of um, front to back so you don't hear me as as good as with the omni so also room acoustics becomes more of a problem, but at least the low end is more real, more real like I hear it. So that's, uh, yeah, well, it's another thing to try. Mm. Yeah. Maybe uh, some Petra Mog Mogani again, why not? I'm not gonna play the whole song, just uh, to have something else than the songs I did. Um, I think... Oh, someone posted an, another version of it, but I'm not gonna look for it right now, but I will play it sometimes because it's really good. Um, 
Mm -hmm. I'll ch choose the one without the distortion. So it's gonna be the Makita Pa. It's rather loud recording. Non andare via, puoi dimenticare tutto quello che se ne è andato già. Puoi dimenticare tutto il tempo che è passato già. Non esiste più tutti i miei malintesi e tutti i perché che uccideva in noi la felicità. Non andare via, non andare via, non andare via. Io, io ti offrirò perle di pioggia venute da dove non piove mai. Aprirò la terra giù fino nel fondo per coprirti d'oro, d'oro e di luce. E ti porterò so dove non c'è più quello che tu cerchi e quel che tu vuoi. Non andare via. Non andare via. You can hear that the previous recordings were andare. rather heavy on the top end to begin with. next time uh, I think that's enough music for today and it's all gonna be demonetized see ya